Sometimes a little monkey finds a new thing that's more interesting than anything else on Earth. For George, it was the baby giant panda, which was being shown live on the zoo website. Oh. Um, George, are you gonna be much longer? <laughs> well, I need to get work done, and you've been on the computer all day. Oh, is that what you've been watching? The panda cam? <laughs> hey, you know those pictures come from the park zoo right down the block. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can go there and see the panda right in front of you, in the new panda habitat. <laughs> Bye. Be a good little monkey. <laughs> there was one thing on George's mind. Baby panda. Baby panda. Baby panda. George didn't want to go the wrong way and lose any panda time. How could he choose a path? A nice big map. George decided to take it and follow the pictures to guide him through the zoo. found the pandas. That map really worked. This was much better than watching on the computer. George could watch the panda for hours. And he did. until he felt like that baby would never get any leaves to eat. Nobody here? Guess I can lock up. Time flies when you're watching pandas. George realized he'd better go before they close the zoo. were too confusing. <laughs> See how it's getting bubbly? That means they're ready to flip. job. <laughs> uh -oh. 
whoa, whoa, go easy on that syrup. It doesn't grow on trees. Well, actually, it does. No, really, it, it does. Trees that grow syrup? George couldn't wait to pick some. I mean, it's not on the tree. It's in the tree. You have to tap it. It's okay. I like my pancakes without. I'll get it. Eat them while they're hot and soggy. Wait, they weren't out of syrup. They had plenty of trees. All he had to do was tap them. was the problem. George needed to tap louder. Hey. And to borrow that mallet. <laughs> George, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, are you looking for syrup? <laughs> well, first you'll have to tap the tree. No, not tap like knocking. I mean a tap like a spigot. Huh. See, you put a tap in the tree and then collect the sap in a bucket. Yeah! You know, I've got an extra bucket if you'd like to make your own syrup. George, you get a whole bucket? How many pancakes could you cover with that? Ooh. <laughs> George wasn't sure, but he bet it was a lot. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you want to try? <laughs> Great. Making syrup is easy. First, you have to find a maple tree. Now, a maple tree has gray bark and deep ridges that run up and down like this. And they have five pointed leaves like this. Oh. Yeah, look. The bottle tells you what kind of leaves to look for. Ah. Yeah. Then you drill a small hole angled up for best sap flow, then hammer in the spigot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it doesn't hurt the tree, George. Right now, it's like the trees are sleeping. They don't need their sap until spring when the weather gets warmer and they put out leaves. Yeah. Got it? <laughs> now, hold on. You'll need these, too. I'll get another set from the barn. You sure you don't want any help? Okay. Bye-bye. It was so cold, the jumpy squirrel had decided to move indoors. The house had everything. It was warm, it was quiet, and thanks to Jumpy, it had lots of nuts. It is cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. The man and the monkey were back. <laughs> Jumpy had to get out fast. <laughs> but 
no sooner was he out than he wanted back in. Luckily, Jumpy had a lot of in and outdoors. Now he just needed to sneak past the monkey. But monkeys have very sharp ears. to fix that. There we go. Hi, George. <laughs> well, we can't leave holes in the house. All the heat will get out. <laughs> no, Jumpy needs to stay outside. There's more food for him out here. He'll be happier in his own home. George wasn't so sure about that. And neither was Jumpy. It was way too cold. His door was sealed shut. But Jumpy still had another squirrel door upstairs. What was that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Your friend Jumpy has been very busy. No wonder the house is so drafty. <sighs> okay. We have got to insulate this house. Huh? Insulate. It means keep the warm air in and the cold air out. OK, cold, ready or not, here we come. First, the man sealed around the windows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the caulk is squishy, so you can fill the holes and keep cold air out. You want to try? Ready to insulate the attic. <laughs> All this fluffy stuff? That's cellulose. It's insulation that fills up air pockets in the walls. <laughs> Thanks, George. Turn it on! <laughs> Filling up these empty walls will keep even more heat inside. Jumpy thought it was the perfect time to sneak inside. George loved to travel. This time was even better, because he was traveling with his friend, Marco. Wow. Here we are. <laughs> hey, George. Mm. What is this, Marco? Hola, Professor Wiseman. All ready for a weekend in the sun? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all set. Since you paddled out, I'll paddle back. Hmm. Where are the paddles? Don't need them. 
We're walking. Huh? The raft is for the boys and the luggage. Huh? But how can they touch bottom? Uh, uh. It's low tide. Plus, we're standing on a sandbar. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a big pile of sand, only underwater. The tide brought it in. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the tide, George? The moon pulls on the ocean and makes the water come in and go out. <laughs> Wait until you see the tidal pool. The tide makes those, too. Sounds fun. George and Marco were amazed by the tidal pools. What do you guys think? It had fish, starfish, and anemones. Oh. Ah. Mm. <laughs> and clams. Ah. Mm. Oh. Ah. <gasps> hey, if you dig deep enough, maybe you'll find buried treasure. <gasps> ah. Buried treasure? Ah. Rumor has it the early explorers buried some around here somewhere, but no one's ever found it. Hey, I bet we could find it. Ooh. <laughs> but finding buried treasure was harder than they thought. Oh, the problem with looking for buried treasure on the beach is there's too much beach. You know what we should do? We should make our own buried treasure. <laughs> Luckily, monkeys always have lots of treasure with them. <laughs> wow, that will make great treasure. We can use the box my mommy put the toothpaste and stuff in. <laughs> but... <laughs> I haven't put in any treasure. Huh. <gasps> I know! I can put in this! <laughs> My silver wolf. My uncle made it in honor of our band, Lobos de Plata. It's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> now, we need a way to remember where it's buried. Idea. We could measure from the pier. The treasure is five giant George steps away from the post with the rope on it. <laughs> 